Hi, it's Pavel with a visual basic exercise. Uh, we'll be doing some sorting in this exercise. Very simple, very quick. We have a we are to write program that uh, takes in 10 different values from the user. Then the user should uh, uh, what have the option to choose uh, ascending or descending uh, sorting and the number should be sorted and output it as such. So basically we will output 10 uh, number input 10 numbers then the user can choose how to sort it either either ascending or descending. I already have the form. It's very simple, just a list box with three buttons. The start button will be the one that we will use to insert the numbers and then when they are inserted uh, and displayed on the in the list box we will click ascending and sort them in ascending order and we will click descending to sort them in descending order of course. Since this is visual basic sorting is actually very simple it's basically one line command so uh, this is gonna be quite quick so let's double click start button and uh, in it all we have to do is uh, enter the numbers and we will be using an input box to do that however before we do that we need to kind of store the numbers uh, well we don't have to we could use the list box but it's easier to just use an array uh, in other words we will input the numbers and insert them into an array uh, of integers so I will declare them uh, numbers it's gonna be uh, 10 numbers so we need nine because obviously we're starting from zero uh, as integer. integer all right so that's our array so and in our start button when we click it first thing we can do in case this is we already ran the program we want to clear the uh, screen we want to clear the list box in case uh, you know uh, we already entered few numbers before that and this is the second time we try to do it so uh, that's very simple list box that items that clear and uh, we will uh, now input the numbers from the list input box to our array so we will do a for loop since we know that it's gonna be uh, 10 numbers we can use a for loop for i as integer equals 0 to 9 so that will give us 10 numbers or 10 iterations and we will input into a numbers of i which is the index uh, of i that we are looping through currently and we will populate it with the value being entered uh, from from the input box but the input box accepts string so we have to convert it into an integer since the, we are collecting numbers of integers so c i n t that's uh, convert to integer and the input box and in it, uh, as for the prompt, we can do uh, enter uh, integer. And as a title, we can do the same thing or something like a enter, enter values. So that's our input box converted to integer and passed to our array. All right, so that this loop will populate the uh, the array so we will I'll just do a little node populate the numbers array okay so we have that and now we can uh, we can as well you know what as we are populate them we can also display them into our list box so uh, when I enter a number into an input box it, pop it enters it also into an array but also output is into a list box so list box i call it output that's, that's how i name the list box so items that add and we are adding the value that is being entered and it was already entered into our numbers array so we can simply do numbers i and it will display the value from the array into the into a list box and that's all from the start so when i when i run it now I have the form here if I click start 
it will say enter values or enter integer so I enter five and as I enter it you can see that it populate uh, uh, enters it also into uh, the list box so ten five again and now we have uh, ten numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so but they obviously they are entered as we uh, uh, entered them in other words they're not sorted yet so in order to do that uh, let's start the in ascending I'll click I double click the ascending button and once again uh, I'm going to clear the list box otherwise it would just append it to the bottom of the list box in other words you would have the original input and then this new input afterwards so but we only want one input I mean output so it would be the uh, a sorted output in this case so items that clear and to sort the array of numbers that we uh, that we have over here all we have to do is uh, use a method an array method of, called sort so we will do array dot sort and it asks us array uh, the one dimensional system array to sort and the one that we want to sort is the one called numbers that's where we have all the numbers that we entered and now we can simply display the numbers now we will be displaying the numbers the sorted numbers uh, from the ascending as well so in order for me not to repeat myself I will create a, a sub procedure uh, it's gonna be private sub and I'll, I'll call it um, I don't know display numbers actually it's display sorted numbers and to display numbers from an array we can use a for each loop that iterates through each element in the array I will create a variable I just call it item you can call it anything you want this is just a uh, kind of customary uh, so we are for each item which is an integer in and now it's asking uh, what we are looping through and we are looping through the array called numbers and uh, as we are looping through it we will simply output the item into our uh, list box all right so uh, let me try that again so again if I start and I'll enter five six seven one 11 6 9 5 and whatever one more five and four so you have them all unsorted that's the numbers unsorted if I click ascending uh, nothing happened <laughs> it actually did happen but uh, this since I created a, a, a sub procedures I have to actually call it not just create it the array was sorted but I don't display anything until I actually obviously call the display sorted numbers so uh, let me try one more time so that's a bunch of numbers as you can see and now I click ascending and you got them sorted one four five five nine so you can see that there are uh, in fact sorted in ascending number if I, uh, order if I click start again you can see it clear the list box and we are ready to uh, you know enter more numbers so if I click ascending again it saw them out so we'll do the same for descending I'll double click that let me just copy paste this you know, I'll cut it and put it up here so the uh, display sorted numbers uh, sub procedure is uh, on the bottom because both of these uh, are going to call it so uh, to sort them in ascending number uh, ascending order sorry uh, again I'm going to first clear the uh, list box and I'm also going to actually sort the array one more time now this is sorting uh, by default in ascending uh, ascending order how, so how do I make it descending well I reverse it and there's a function or method called reverse and you can see reverse is the sequence of the elements in the entire 
one dimensional array. So uh, now when it's sorted, I can just reverse the, num uh, reverse the uh, array and uh, now they are descending in descending order. And of course, let me not forget to call the display sorted numbers. So let me run that. If I click start, five, five, eight, one, whatever. Just bunch of random numbers. So again, I have them unorganized, unsorted. If I click descending, you can see that the highest number is first, the lowest is last. And the, if I click ascending, there are lowest number first and highest last. Then if I click start again, it clears and I can do another uh, 10 numbers. And again, if I click ascending, I'm descending. So you can see that's how it works. So um, yeah, fairly simple. Like I said, it's visual basic. So the uh, sorting is literally just one line. And if you want to sort them, sort them in the reverse order, you first sort them uh, alphabetically or ascending or from lowest to highest. And then you just use the array dot reverse method to uh, reverse the array. Okay, so um, that's it for this exercise. Uh, please like the video if you liked it, if it was helpful. Don't forget to share, comment, subscribe, you know, the drill. So, uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care.